Hey guys, I was already craving Thanksgiving food, so I thought, why not make a Monte Cristo that tastes like Thanksgiving? Here's all the stuff you'll need. Turkey, brown sugar, butter, rosemary, orange juice, cranberries, which now you can get two for five at Kroger. I'm choosing to put lettuce on mine. A really good brie. It doesn't have to be really good. This is what I chose. I got it at Jungle Gyms if you're familiar with Cincinnati. And some bread. Let's start with one and a quarter cup of fresh cranberries. Give them a nice wash. In a medium saucepan, we're gonna do a quarter cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of orange juice. We're gonna bring it to a gentle boil, stirring occasionally. Once your sugar is dissolved, add your fresh cranberries. We will let the compote start to form after about 12 to 15 minutes. You'll see some of your cranberries starting to burst, but they should keep their shape. Okay, here's what our compote looks like. For the last two to three minutes of cooking, we're gonna add in a sprig of rosemary. Make sure it becomes completely immersed in the fruit. I wish you could smell this. I'm going to allow the compote to cool while I build the sandwiches. Before I build the sandwich, I will discard the rosemary. Butter the griddle side of the bread and put it on. Add your turkey. Add a slice of brie. Add your cranberry compote. And then butter the top sides of the bread. Flip your sandwiches over. Oh, look how pretty. Now I'm gonna take these three beauties and finish them off in the oven for about 10 minutes to make sure that the brie is completely melted. 350 for 10 minutes. Wash and cut your lettuce. All done. Let's add our lettuce. Give it a nice cut. Look how melty and delicious. Enjoy. One of the things I forgot to say was that you could use the compote as actual cranberry sauce for your Thanksgiving meal. Just double, triple, quadruple the recipe. It's very simple.